begins just like you do with everything. It's got a hollow steel steel tube, it's called a blow pipe. It reaches into our furnace, which holds about 300 pounds of clear molten glass. Now you can see it's glowing bright orange, and that's because of the temperature. It's 2100 degrees in there, so actually the glass will emit its own light at that temperature. Now he's adding color to it by rolling it in crushed up colored glass called frit. This is one way that we can color the piece. This is the quickest way. All this crushed up colored glass, just by rolling into it, it heats up very quickly and sticks to the surface. It's going to put another layer on right over top of this. It's going to make sure it's nice and dark. Now this is a steel table called a marbling table. Those tiny little chips, they create like little dots. And now Lewis just is twisting those up. They're kind of making them look more, more like lines. He's going to continue to twist those up. If you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to shout them right out or get my attention. Lewis is in a reheating furnace over there. Now you can see inside of this furnace we have a camera on the back of it. There's a piece of glass called fused silica that protects the camera from the heat. That type of glass was developed right here in Corning in the 1930s. It's the same type of glass that they use on the space shuttle's windows. Now the glass is this food called a block. This shapes, centers, and it cools it down at the same time. You see how the glass is a little darker now because of the temperature difference. So he just puts a puff of air to the end of the iron and traps that air in there with his thumb. And if you watch out here at the tip, you can see it start to get a little bit bigger. It's just starting to grow right now. I can see it start to grow. So there's a bubble inside there, probably about the size of a large walnut, or maybe the size of a golf ball. He's going to cool this down a little bit, and then he's going to go back in the furnace and collect about three times as much glass right over top of this. This is just a little compressed air. This is going to speed the process up by cooling it down a little faster. This will go back into the furnace and this next scanner, you'll see he'll have quite a lot more. He's got more surface area. He'll be able to wind down quite a bit more.